Good evening and welcome back to Breath of Fire 3. Hope everyone's doing well today. <clears throat> so, I didn't do anything off stream. Didn't really see the point in it actually. But we are relatively close to the end now. <clears throat> You'll have to pardon me, my throat is not particularly fond of me right now. Everything's still about the same as before. Probably should go back to Ladon soonish. But, uh, I think we'll be fine for the moment. <clears throat> But last time, uh, we explored through chunks of Orbital Station Myria. Got the B-ranked key card, and more importantly, got the car, the uh, shells to do away with the evil vines in front of that door. I hadn't quite decided what we'll immediately follow this up with. I don't know if I <coughs> I feel like immediately jumping into another Breath of Fire game. On the other hand, it doesn't feel unenticing, so I suppose there is that. <coughs> Yeah, leveling up now is not super difficult in any way. I know there's a few nice things coming up if you still need to catch up, but don't intend to utilize the Lava Man method. Hmm. Re-equip our atomic bomb. <coughs> Uh, I do believe if you equip those HE shells, uh, any plant monsters you encounter here will actually take, well, super effective damage. Kind of like if we had the uh, Demon Bane equipped for demons. But when you can just use Blitz, you kind of, you kind of just don't care anymore. Speaking of not caring, uh, we probably don't even need to worry too much about picking up literally every item, but that's a trained reflex for RPGs for me at this point. <laughs> I suppose I should take one moment to verify one thing. Yeah. Wanted to be sure we had a specific move on Ryu, and we do. But uh, once again, you could see it on that door, and if you didn't, you'll see it when we go back over towards it. Uh, the Momo Ray party is probably the single most consistent for general dungeon progression. Uh, Momo is there for any science stuff. And on a few rare occasions, uh, you actually need her gun, either to blow open a wall, or, as was just uh, put on display, neutralizing specific things with specific shells. Ray? Six locks. Uh, you very seldom require Nina for actual things other than story flags. <clears throat> and then Gar is there for 
story flags and the very rare uh, pushable block. Once those are done, uh, thinking on it, the, if you needed a party, this would be the party to use. Even Pico is almost entirely for the plant. And then getting to the Yggdrasil Master as well. Oh, boy. Uh, that should be fine. We should outspeed him. Oh. Oh. Okay. Guess that just happened. Huh? It replenished them? Actually, you know what? <clears throat> but did it just harden? You got something you want to explain to me, game? If that ain't undead, what the hell is it? Okay, then. Alright, let's try that, then. Oh, this thing has a weird barrier mechanic. I think I kind of remember that now. Like, physical just doesn't work. And then you need to hit once with each given element to make them actually hurt. I think that's what it is. Then maybe if you break all of them, you can use physical or something, but... Okay. Uh, let's just not fight those. Alright. Still, the fact that Kyrie doesn't work on it, that's... That's actually asinine. And I didn't not notice the chest that was back there. Uh, we just will get it when we're coming back through. But okay. That threw me for a loop. Uh, anyway. Yeah, like, I've mentioned it before, but uh, original, originally, I would always have Ray anyway. It'd be Ryu... Ray and Gar, and that would just be the team comp. And honestly, that's not a super great team comp. Like, that's coming from me today. Um, Gar. All right, Th this game has the issue that a lot <clears throat> that a lot of games of this nature do. Damn, another one. We're swimming in these. Um, and that is. Speed is king. Because even if you deal 30 points less... Yeah, we got 8. Even if you deal 30 points less, does it really matter if you get to attack twice? <clears throat> or does it matter if you're at 5 health, if you can wipe out the entire enemy team with something like Blitz before they even get the chance to act? Little details like that, and suddenly, well, it kind of doesn't matter what the other stats are. <clears throat> so Gar, unfortunately, kind of really hard falls off, especially since in his own niche... 
uh, Pico just Pico de Gallo just completely takes him over. <laughs> Blessed armor, huh? I'll look into what that blessing is, but it might include uh, protection from blindness. Blessed pieces. Uh... I do wish the games of this era had better documentation in them instead of requiring you to go to a wiki. Or using some weird thing like an item identification service to get the details. Uh, I get the reasons, but it just... I feel like if I was going to mod a game like this, I would really want that to be included in the mod. For the record, Plant 42 didn't go down this easy in Resident Evil 1. Unless you're playing on Jill... And you played your cards right. I think there might have been a sequence of flags that needed to be tripped for it to be super easy. So that's obviously a Gar weapon. But, um... Uh, yeah, this just feels dangerous to equip. I mean, what if he gets confused? <clears throat> This dumbass very nearly forgot to readjust the audio settings. I got you covered, though. Hey, it was only for 12 minutes, at least, and we didn't get to anything new on the audio side, so at least there's that, right? Oh, son of a bitch. Like, it, I'm not even running because Blitz won't work. Like, that's just a little too AP intensive for me to actually feel like fighting for the rewards we get. <clears throat> so apologies for that volume bit. I didn't screw up twice, so at least there was that. Wow. Also, wow. <laughs> it's a big ol' opening in the middle of the desert. It looks like we're outside. But it's just another room. Or it's not in the middle of the desert. I just want to point out, if they got the science to do this kind of stuff here... Why couldn't they, I don't know, fix stuff outside to a degree? I feel like this is terraforming technology. I mean, you gotta be able to maintain this stuff for, you know, some degree of time, right? We're already dealing with the equivalent of magical technologies, so I mean, like, why not, right? Yeah, this is the theme that played all the way back in the prologue when um, <clears throat> the Nue was resolved. So, having that be this room, this dungeon, your, your choice, the theme that plays here is kind of interesting. <clears throat> oh, another one. Okay. But as you can see, most of the enemies here are, 
well. If it ain't the wraiths, they ain't a problem. <clears throat> It's a void. Burba derb. Burba derba derb. Hey, who's that dream dude? <coughs> Black. Now, I just want to point out, Windex commercials? Okay, the bird can't see through the clear surface. That's fine. They can see the walls. I'm sorry. They should be able to tell you can't fly through that. I can't tell that they're inside a room. And when they try to fly, they only end... They only end up hurting themselves. Do you understand, Ryu? I suppose I should have known you'd come here eventually. You are brood, after all. Ooh. Tipo? Is it really you, Tipo? It's me, Ray. So I just wanna I know there's a I know this is a big deal, but I really gotta point something out. Balio and Sunder sucked at their jobs. Holy shit. At first it was just Ryu. Then it was Rei. And now, well, they didn't do the first damn thing right. It's me, Rei. Tipo, you're alive. I... I thought... Be silent. I must talk with Ryu. <clears throat> Welcome, Ryu. Unfortunately, your journey ends here. I can answer all of your questions. And explain why our race had to be destroyed. Oh boy. Soon after we were separated so many years ago, I learned that I, too, was of the Brood. Yeah, the Guardians didn't do a great job either thinking on it. Gar, would you like to weigh in on this? <coughs> hmm. Ray? Are you? Why? Why did they do this to us? Ray, Ryu. Yeah, it turns out you don't have quite the same level of balance as a whelp. Huh? What's happened to me? My body, it's... I'm no different from you, Ryu. Not since then. <clears throat> Much blood has been shed to reach this point. All right. To be fair, though, that was a that was a service to the community. The blood of strangers. I mean, he didn't even die. He 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 could literally be here. Your own blood. <laughs> Again, community service. Blood of both the good and the bad. I don't even know why he's relevant, because dude appeared once. I don't know if that was an issue with the localization. 
Or if something got scrapped? Nothing but hardship awaits us wherever we go. Now nah, it's more that uh, we've got the tools to solve a problem. Or problems. That nobody else can or will. That one, however, that one was unfortunate. Violence, pain, blood. And that was kind of his job. That is the brood. That is what we are. Bruh. Been brainwashed. We've been happy-go-lucky this whole time. The brood posed too great a danger to the world. Our power, our very existence, threatens it. We cause war and chaos wherever we go. So, Mr. Tipo, the god has put it into your head to wait here wait here to kill Ryu, eh? No. She would never harm anyone nor allow anyone to be harmed. <laughs> um... About that. She simply fears. Fears for the world. Should the power of the brood be left uncontrolled? you we're different from them we can't be with them that's why you need to stay here with me forever and ever with me and the goddess myria you still don't understand do you that's all right take your time Look deep within yourself. Game over, I guess. <laughs> Dees, is this your home again? I don't need your levels right now. What do you think, Ryu? This is your mind. Your heart given shape. Ah shit, we're playing Persona now. Here, you can enter not only your own heart, but those of your so-called friends as well. And then you'll learn that I that Holy Myria is right. Go now, Ryu. Okay, but I'm just saying, if you're putting me in my own mind, why are there enemies here that want to kill me? I'm just asking for a friend. I'm the friend. <laughs> I'm the friend, and yeah, um... Uh, Enemies that have uh, spells they can't even use are super great. Uh, not because, you know, it's a great design thing in and of itself, but that you seeing that notice tells you there's some method they're going to get the points. <clears throat> so... Under normal circumstances, if you are by yourself and therefore you know if you hit zero, that's a game over, a smart person wouldn't be using Blitz. But I never said I was smart. Spoilers, I am, but... It's a calculated risk. But I'm kind of okay at math. I don't like tapping into his AP. That, oh, I guess we moved just far enough to trigger it. 
Whenever I decided to do something, my mother would always ask me. Oh, okay. Is that what the Princess of Windia should do? I would always answer yes. When I left the castle with Ryu and my other friends, for the first time I wasn't my mother's daughter or the princess of Wendia. I was able to just be Dina. You're just being selfish, you know. I thought it was very important that we learn about Ryu and the Brood. I don't know anymore. Maybe I left the castle just because I was tired of being controlled by my mother. See, I don't see that being a problem. Like, you're not a machine if you have multiple... I mean... Even a person that operates on very basic motivations is still going to have multiple things that they would, uh... They're not just going to be, like, a one-program deal. They're, they're going to have other things factoring in. And that's perfectly reasonable. Like, you get to help your friend and find out about them. Like, you want that. But you also want to go and live your life, and I can completely understand that one. You must go back. There's nothing for you here. So, it's not ob... Well, you could basically go ahead and infer from the statue. It's not obvious because there wasn't a transition prior, but yes. Uh, if you just keep going forward, you will just progress endlessly. Power of the Brood... Look at me. I have a power I was so frightened of, I swore never to use it. But compared to the power of the brood, my power is insignificant. Doesn't that just beat all? How can anyone handle that kind of power? If it were me, I know what I would do with it. No... I know better. I wouldn't be able to handle that kind of power responsibly. I'm just no good. Look, I'm just saying... Power doesn't have to be used for destruction's sake. You can use it constructively. You can use it... And a number of other methods that aren't strictly tied to the scale of creation versus destruction. I'm just saying. You feel unbridled strength coming deep with, from deep within you. Do you want to save? Yeah, so, because uh, obviously if you couldn't restore yourself and if you are already battered from the path for whatever reason... Uh, they had to give you some method to full heal here. We'll save on the other slot just in case something goes terribly, terribly wrong. Beware, lest you catch the Mad Gong disease. It's a right prickly condition. But yeah, uh, Balio and Sunder suck at their jobs, let's be real here. But uh, definitely, Tipo got the worst stick of the batch. Bow down and pray before me. I will show you the path when your heart and mind are as one. So that's progress. This is... 
a random battle. I think they do uh, osmosis or whatever drains AP. You might be able to learn molasses. I don't remember, but again, generally don't like status moves in this. Okay, that's pretty good. Actually, speaking of, let's take a quick look at his stats now that he's leveled. Agility of 72, so... I see at least one or two gear changes, and if we took off the boots now, we'd be at 62. Whoop. Okay. Answer truthfully. Do you want what's in the box? Yeah. Hmm. Do what your heart tells you. Tells me to open the box. I believe... Is that the double, or rather the 50%? No, that's the 25. Still, not a bad item to have multiple of. They do not stack, however. I, I should clarify that bit now. <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to grind Ryu a little bit, uh, you're not going to make much zenny here, but this counts for battles for the fairy village. Um, the experience is by no means bad. So, yeah, it's it's not a terrible place to grind just Ryu. That said, we're not trying to grind, for the record. Just, we're naturally exploring and... Games encounter rate is what it is. So that's what the original little square there was for. This one will probably yeet us down too. Oh no. I believe molasses is a agility down, if it actually works. So, for better or worse, uh, we didn't scum things with the fairy exploration system. There's an item that I believe only comes from that, called the Ivory Charm. And we're about to fall? Yep. Uh, the Ivory Charm does a load of things. Uh, it does a plus 100% recovery bonus, so doubles you know, your healing receive. Gives you a small heal per step taken and uh, per turn in combat. I don't believe the healing bonus applies to that, though. Um, and then finally, it gives you a plus two resistance across the board for every attribute and every status. And the real kicker with that Ivory Charm is you can equip two and they stack. So by having two, you get a... You get twice the healing per step and per turn. I just... I want to be sure it was procking. So to solve this, we, we literally just stand here for a minute. But anyway, the Ivory Charm. Uh, combined, if you have two on one person, I believe that kicks you up to just outright immunity. Go, my child. Let your steps take you where they will. Gives you complete immunity to every attribute and every status. My father used to tell me lots of stories about the Techno Age. It was his life's dream to learn all he could about that time and all the machines that were built then. Honey, I'm home. Father. I'm almost there. It's right in front of me. Um, so obviously, if you were trying to make things as ideal as possible, you just slap two of those on your full party. Um, yeah, you wouldn't get a speed bonus. You could easily resolve that, though. But, uh, yeah, no. I don't think I've ever had the item. I'm just aware of it. 
But if you did that, you would kind of just destroy any semblance of challenge for a basically the whole end game. Wow, that wasn't even worth it. <laughs> I'm not sure if this one goes anywhere, if this is the next fail spot. But yeah, uh, so far, nobody in the party has had a really objectionable opinion or comment. Ray doesn't trust in his own discipline. He's And he's already acknowledged that in the past. Uh, Nina... Nina just feels guilty because she wanted to get out of Dodge, and you can't blame her. You really can't. Oh. Oh, never mind. Hey. That one's more worth it. Uh, Momo. She's kind of been on this since the very beginning. Like, she's a friend, sure. But she's had her goals from the start. You know, we we've known that already. So no big deal. Like, nothing so far has been objectionable. Wow, you had a... Huh. Oh, wait, it's because of the fire, right? We've got the uh, Dragon Helm and Dragon Shield, so we're probably, like, immune to fire, like I said. A little surprised they had the AP to cast that, but, you know, whatever. Also, I don't remember what Rice Balls are. Are they supposed to be, quote-unquote, valuable? Oh, okay, I think they're just useless. Brood, God. I don't know anything about them. Fate of the world? It's too big for me. All I know is, by getting closer to God, I'm getting closer to that age. The age of machines. Yeah, again, you know, she's been honest. Like, she's a friend, but yeah, you know, she... Got her goals, that's fine, whatever. More dungeon. But yeah, if you did need to heal, like if you were burning through your AP, uh, you can return to that statue that did it. It'll just it'll continuously be available for that purpose. It is a wonder that you can get the cure ability, but no other, like, put on anybody you want healing spell, I believe. Like, that can be used in that, in that nature. A bit of a shame, too. I want to say the right path was, well, the right path, the one that actually led to progress. So, we're going to stick to the left for now. I was about to say, I thought that they that didn't pop them. You know what? There we go. Okay. Well, let me go peek first, just, just to be sure. If there's another teleport, I'll say that the right path is probably the right path. And we'll stick to the left. Uh, it actually is really close now that we can see their health bars. Yeah, that looks that looks progressy to me. But uh I see us being done with this with uh if we include this one and the the count 3 
for perhaps four videos. Um, which, you know, that's good. The game isn't meant to last forever. Um, I will keep that difficulty mod in mind. And if the requests come up for it, maybe consider doing that. But, um... At least for the time being, this will be it for Breath of Fire 3. Ooh. Yeah, you don't deserve AP. You don't have AP rights. Ooh. But, um... Other options will include the... I don't like that you keep trying to use that. I kind of want something smaller to be next, just so it can, you know, cycle through a whole game before the end of Underrail. So I might actually make good on the Icona... I Icona... Iconoclasts comments I made back when I was streaming. I believe you can learn that, but it does literally nothing. But if y'all have requests or uh, recommendations, I do have a nice batch of stuff uh, set up, but by all means, make a request if you've got it or a suggestion. Uh, if it lines up right and it's something I think would be good, by all means, I could, uh, make it the next thing to do. Speaking of, if you like computer RPGs, CRPGs, and, uh, all the... Happy, happy, fun times that come with those. By all means, check out my Underreal play. Ooh, but that's also white, so that should be progress, right? Oh! No, this is a failed door. Okay. Let, let's try and walk back in and see what happens. Please stop using death. I don't care if you can't. I don't like seeing that pop up when I'm by myself. Okay, now you can actually use... Okay. So that one there is probably the hard progress then. Tell you what I do have a bit of a craving for, though. Some horror. Some survival horror, especially. Um, I don't think I mentioned this on stream last time. If I did, I apologize. Or rather, on the last recording. If I did, I apologize. Uh, I'm only human. Teehee. But uh, I picked up the demo of Echoes of the Living which is a classic Resident Evil-inspired, well, survival horror game. Uh, the spirit was definitely there. Uh, I, I could see why people would, you know, like, give it its credit, but it is an early access... Well, that that's not fair. It is a demo, and I can definitely say that it's a good thing it still has a few months to uh, get the details ironed out. Uh, I don't know if anybody watching touches classic Resident Evil or the things of that ilk. Uh, okay, pretty good level. But there are certain things that the originals had or ended up having before, you know, final renditions came out. Um... Oh, well, well, we'll cover it in a second. I believed that by hunting the brood, by obeying God, I was saving the world. But now I wonder, 
Was I? If they had wanted to, the brood could have stopped us at any time. What should I have done? Okay. There may not be any chests here. I might actually just be needlessly getting into fights, but we'll see. So, what were my issues with the demo? Uh, for one, it does still use fixed camera angles and tank controls, which that is a good thing. The two do go together like peanut butter and jelly. And I, for one, at least enjoy those control schemes. But they give you that, which means that sometimes your perception of angles can be a little wonky. And they don't give you an auto-target feature, like something you can press to be like, yeah, that is definitely alive, or yes, you are definitely pointed at the midpoint on this potential target. And while that might sound like a uh, get good gamer moment for other games, you do kind of want that in that sort of game. Because here's the secondary issue which couples in and exacerbates that issue. When I shot a zombie, there was no clear indicator sometimes if the target was actually taking damage. The reason why that's an issue is I know under those circumstances I was lined up properly. Which means, you know, there, there was no major issue there, right? Um, whenever I would knock an enemy down, which would be by repeated shots, or they were getting back up, I still had the shots lined up, but I couldn't tell if I was dealing damage or not because suddenly some things were taking... If the enemy health variation goes from 4 shots to 13 shots and you know you're lining the shots up, I don't know if they have unreasonable immunity in their animations, which is silly or if their health variation is that big and you couldn't tell if the shots were hitting because you wouldn't see a blood splatter you wouldn't see like a like you know a flinch from the impact of the bullet or something none of that was there so factor that in with the camera angles being what they are uh you kind of just don't know okay well that's progress i've been watching you for a long time ryu Oh no. It's time for revenge for the onion jokes. You need to do what you, and only you, think is right. The power of the brood is something to be respected and feared. But it's not enough to save or destroy the world. True words of wisdom spoken not by the, the eldest members of the party, not by the Brainiac, not by your best friend from five to ten years ago, but by an onion. Wow, y'all just have all the spells, don't you? Okay. And they just keep going, and they just keep going, and they just keep going. But, um, it, it, it made the experience for the demo a lot more frustrating than it had any need to be. Uh, they did bring some nice new things to the table. Uh, original Resident Evil, you would typically have, um, all right. In one, the, the two character options, one had six inventory slots, the other had eight. But in other entries... Okay, this is either a fail state or something. Um, in most other entries, everybody by default had 8, and you could potentially go up to 10, depending on if you picked up the right items or not. Um, which, you know, that, that was fine. What they brought in was... You have three dedicated weapon slots, like... Only weapons will go into those slots, which means you will never not have, you know, there's no reason to not put weapons in there unless 
you know that there's a new weapon to pick up. So you you would be highly incentivized. Okay, so there's the exit. Or the next major piece of progress. Uh, you would never be incentivized to all right, carry less than two weapons. Because, you know, even if you didn't carry the ammo with you, you I mean you could still have the ammo that's in the gun, right? Pardon me. Um, for everything else, uh, you had some Six slots dedicated to other items, ammo, and key items. Have you come to a decision? You're one of the brood. You can't afford to think only of yourself. Like the others, right? Think of what you could do with your power. Think of your people, those who gave you this power. If you have the power to change the world, you have to take responsibility for the world, don't you? There's only one person who can take that kind of responsibility. The goddess Myria. Rise. Rise and give yourself to the goddess. Become one with the world. Who are you? I don't know if the last one was him or, you know, the illusion. But yeah, that was 100% a trap. Which means that all of the negativity up till now could have possibly been part of the trap as well. Who knows, right? Also, this is a really good theme. Glad I caught the audio issue early. <laughs> It's really foreboding. I'll let it sit for a moment. And it kind of just loops like that. I really like it. Well, well, well. You count Yggdrasil among your companions. What? That's a surprise. Still. You understand, don't you, Ryu? We share the same blood. I know you. You must understand. All the others. They're weak and frail. They think only of themselves. What if our power were to be used by them for their small, selfish ends? We can only entrust our power to someone who understands, someone who sees and thinks of the world as a whole, someone like Myria, Ryu. If that's your choice, then, if you won't listen to me, I'm afraid I can't let you leave. I'm sorry, Ryu, but I have no choice but to leave you here in this dream. So we're going to try and learn a move from this guy because he's the only source of it, I believe, and it has come to my attention it is learnable. And that's the move in question. Watch it deal ridiculous. Okay, that, no, that's, that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to abuse our extra turns to top off after each little attack like that. And we'll try to examine each of his turns just so that we can potentially get the move. Okay, maybe I'll just not... I suppose I could equip some... Or I can just get hit. Yeah, and that would be the time I could have learned it, I bet. So is this magic or physical? I would think magic. Oh, it's magic, and you're just going to spam it now. Okay.
We'll give it uh, five more attempts to the move itself, or if he uses sleep once or twice more, we're just going to call it. You're really making it hard to care, my dude. Just saying. Do we have... We don't need accuracy at this moment. That's only a plus two, I believe. But I'll take that over nothing. I would like a bigger chance of not falling asleep. Would really be great. Okay, there we go. Defend during the X turn. But yeah, if you remove his ability to, well, put you to sleep, uh, so far he doesn't seem super threatening, right? His damage is kind of average. Um, chill, while it does have a pretty dangerous second... Dude, please, I only have one request of you right now. Chill, while it does have a fairly annoying side effect, uh, overall, so far we're, we're lucking out with that. It, he's just not that big of a threat. And I'll show you why he's not a threat at all in a few minutes. Uh, hopefully not that long. I would kind of like to move on, but this is on him at this point. This is where the observation system in 4 would be a net gain, though. Uh, we would be taking less damage because the guard feature in that one is the examine feature. And it also doesn't, you know, force you to target one enemy. You just, you observe all of them. It's super good. I love it. It's a it is a net improvement. Dude, please. He's a real bonehead, ain't he? <laughs> That said, the model is great. The, the sprite, rather. Um, I, I guess it's a skeletal reaper riding uh, Orthrus. Orthrus? The, the two-headed dog. But uh, it just looks super good. So see, unlike Sleep, which is explicitly, you know, you can't learn this ability. It's just not giving us a secondary, uh, you know, it's not giving us a mention of anything there. So, unfortunately, that is the indicator that yes, you can learn it, so then we're just waiting on RNG at that point. And the issue with that on a boss is, I might not use the move consistently. And you might not learn it besides. So anyway, small talk while we're uh, waiting for this. Uh, FGO's, uh, which this will come a couple of days later, but FGO's Idle Live event just went live. I won't be recording it. Um, I could... I just, uh, I really don't feel up to it after the last FGO event. I'll probably record the next uh, story content, because I'll be going through it anyway. Did I uh, accidentally learn it without paying attention? No, I did not. Um... It looks to be a fairly easy event. Uh, I don't know if anybody watching this plays that as well, but uh, if you go rolling for Miss Crane or something, good luck to you. Hope that goes well for you. 
I'm saving for the big two meta picks that are coming up. I actually have enough, uh, enough resources piled up to hit pity twice. And I kind of want to see if I can hit a third pity for another one of the picks coming up. But that's my part for that. Uh, we'll give him two more chills. If he doesn't, if it doesn't get learned after the second one after this, we'll just uh, we'll just wrap this up. It's not. It's probably not going to be super e super useful, but I kind of wanted it for a few reasons. It does have a unique niche, but it is what it is. I thought the resistance was a plus two, but maybe it's slightly higher than that, or maybe it's just the probability is so low now it feels like it's resistance. All right, so there's one. We'll do one more, and if we don't got, we don't have it by then. We'll just clean up house. I believe he also has multi-strike. I could be remembering incorrectly, though. But I uh, ain't seen that pop up at all. Okay, we didn't learn it. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. So that thing that keeps missing is actually an agility down. So that makes it an, an AoE, I believe, cold attack with agility down. Uh, I would slap it on Momo, but yeah, just it's it's unique in that that's, I think, the only move that has that kind of just rotation of effects. Unfortunately, no luck. I mean, that's just how it goes sometimes. But uh, yeah, it turns out he's a bonehead. He had 2400 HP, by the way. That's part of the reason why I was okay with trying to stall out that long. Uh, literally any turn we outsped him, we could just kill him. So, Ryu, you've come back. Why did you fight it? All that would have happened is that you would have lost the power of the brood. You wouldn't have had to die. If you won't give up your power, if you won't submit to the wisdom of Myria, then I have no choice. No choice but to kill you. Jews who will fight against Tipo. Truly top 10 anime betrayals. Completely preceding uh, those silly jokes. Can I set up my formation, please? Ah? Uh, formation? A. Although they don't top you off, unfortunately. And there's Tipo! <laughs> The D Lord, Lord of the D. The no, it's just Dragon Lord. Probably my favorite battle theme in the game. It's super good. I'll I'll stay silent-ish for a little bit to let y'all uh, at least hear the most of it. Huh. He might outspeed her now.
<laughs> this this was not this is not how things were planned. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> uh, okay. That was unfortunate. Jeez. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm gonna top off and wait for the extra turn, because that way I can definitely get them up. Watch it work again. But yeah, I, I love the theme, the model, uh, the unique casting animation where it like goes through the whole crescent horns. It's all just, it's all super good in my opinion. Alright, where's the ammonia? So, here's the real question. Do I have an AoE healing item? Actually, you know what? I do. Do I want to use that here? Honestly, I don't. But uh, we also normally wouldn't run into such a situation anyway. Um... You know what? I don't care. We, we won't use it otherwise, so... Now please don't ask... Okay, good. And then we'll slap a uh, ring of ice and ring of fire on the group, and that should protect them from most, if not all, of the spells uh, that'll be tossed out. So uh, let's try this again, shall we? Oh yeah, he still has some like that. So yeah, no, that's that's perfectly fine. I don't know what that will do in regards to um, Sirocco, which I, I guess they haven't used it yet, but I mean, it, it's a given that they're going to use it. But at the, at the bare minimal, it should not hurt anymore. I'm going to use that on both of them to ensure they get extra turns. That's just a free heal for the other two. Nice. I'll just keep it to normal stuff. Uh, I don't think Tipo has anything particularly amazing on hand, but, you know, or rather anything that won't also just be on the loot table normally. But I'm still going to try and grab it anyway. Okay, well, we got it. Uh, no reason to hold back now, I guess.
I don't think there's a random chance drop item, but we'll go ahead and pop charm once anyway. I don't actually know if the dude's weak to any elements. He shouldn't be, but uh, it'll be a good chance to show off all of the strikes, I guess. Except for fire. Fire feels like a definite don't. But what if, am I right? <laughs> so yeah, other than that super rocky start, uh, this is fine. I kind of hope that Douse doesn't work, though, because that would turn this into such a joke of a fight. just hasn't come up at all, Thunderstrike, and then we'll get to uh, properly kicking his ass. So Thunderstrike, as I mentioned, has Paralysis, which the uh, actual Chimera used. Very potent status effect. Let's see. Yeah, let's try a flying kick just to see what kind of output it actually has. Not super great. Alright, what's the damage this time? Nothing? Nice. But okay, we'll uh we'll take it seriously now. how a normal blow is stronger than the flying kick, though. So the putting Shadow Walk on Momo is a thing that I uh, uh, politely nabbed from BitWizard on Twitch. Uh, I was like, yeah, you know what, sure, we'll, we'll try it out. It's not like I need crits on Ryu. And you know, kind of really does work out. And there we go. I like that they don't play a victory theme, though. It's just net silence. That's a good, tasteful decision. Oh, pretty good level. And we got the dragon armor. Ryu, Maria is right. 
Look at us. The brood. All we know how to do is fight and kill each other like this. But... I didn't ask to be brood. I didn't ask for... Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll chalk that up to the localization. I didn't ask for this power. I just wanted to be with you, Ray, and you, for you, my family. <laughs> Doesn't this just beat all? Hey, Ryu? Maybe you brood really are cursed. I hope not. I really do, Ryu. So, if somebody was being, you know, a little callous, I guess, they might think Ray was actually, like, making a genuine joke. But I feel like he's the most torn up over this because, yeah, sure, Ryu did like Tipo. Like, obviously, they were all friends, but Ray and Tipo were together before the start of the game. It says Card Kie. It looks important. However, I am going to take a break here and check on some things. Um. Obviously, the next session will pick up right here. Uh, thank you for all for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, and an appreciated the reveal of the mystery man. Uh, don't even know why he appeared at the start of the game like that, but, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah. We've got some... Actually, you know what? I'll show one thing off before we uh, step off. But, as always... Yeah, that's 20 points stronger. No additional benefits and slightly heavier. It does come with the unfortunate uh, flame property. But, eh, you can work around it. Plus, dragon forms don't care about that, usually. And then, dragon armor. But as always, thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you have a great day. If you like the video, please like. If you got any comments, suggestions, or otherwise, you know, drop a comment. And if you want to see more but are not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, you'll you'll be made aware of future videos. For now, though, y'all take it easy. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.